and now he can do everything on one machine so this, he's able to save a clamping yeah and that's the big advantage then in this case so we are not doing uh, parts which are typical for relays that that makes no sense yeah but as long as the uh, content for milling and, and drilling is, is the higher one and there are some some features which needs to be turned the hf mill turn is the right solution Every time I see a Heller machine, there's something completely different they're doing on them. Now, this is an HF machine, but it's got some brand new technology on it. What is that technology? Yeah, the, we are here in front of a Milton Heller HF machine. So we invented the Milton technology one or two years ago for this uh, kind of machine type. Yeah. So in this case, we have a direct load uh, Milton, and the new technologies we developed for that machine is the gear cutting, so we have power skiving and hopping available. On and that also machine. pallet changing. Yeah, that will be new uh, starting now. So so far we just uh, sold the Milton version uh, as a direct load machine and starting with the open house now, the machine will also be available with a pallet swapper. Which pallet loading is obviously critical for, for high uh, volume automation. But moving on, to, but talking about the Milton specifically, um, Obviously, you get you you probably if you had a big part that had some uh, overturning, some big diameters, and then most of the rest of it would be would be drilled and milled. You'd stick it on a lathe, and then take it off the lathe, put it on the on the milling machine, and then do your milled milled features. Why would you want to do them all on one machine? Yeah, it's simple. For example, we have a hydraulic pump part that's what was one of our applications we had in the last couple of weeks as a request. Yeah, the customer is doing this housing. Uh, on the lathe for turning because there's a lot of turning things and finally he had to do some some bores or some faces uh, on the milling machine yeah and now he can do everything on one machine so this, he's able to save a clamping yeah and that's the big advantage then in this case so we are not doing uh, parts which are typical for a lathe that, that makes no sense yeah but as long as the uh, content for milling and, and drilling is, is the higher one and there are some some features which needs to be turned the HF mill turn is the right solution. But also it means you don't have to buy two, for example, in that case, you don't have to buy those extra two lathes as well. Let's say you bought a machine for a specific product, you could just buy one heller rather than one heller and two lathes as well, which would be quite a, a big capital outlay. Yeah, that's it. So uh, you, you gain a certain flexibility in this case, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's an economic solution for sure, yeah. But because it's not just uh, an extra uh, axis like a spindle that just spins, because this is a special synchronized axis you can also do like you mentioned gear skiving and gear hobbing now exactly. we're going to go and talk to daniel about uh why you want to do gear skiving gear hobbing a little bit and also about the technicals of it but i guess it seems to me that heller machines uh, we were looking at your your facing head earlier about you can do basically offset turning on in, in on any point surface you can do od turning using this machine basically it seems like you can use any one heller for to, for doing any features on any part yeah, let's say we, in the last couple of months, we developed a lot of technologies, yeah, that's important for us, yeah, we are a technology company, we have technology know-how, yeah, and we want to bring this uh, to our machines and to our customers, yeah. As you said, uh, the facing slide unit is, 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 is a possibility for our standard uh, uh, milling machines to do a kind of turning there, and yes, this is a special solution now for turning, which is a as I said already, a very effective solution. And this is uh, supported now by these special, uh, let's say, uh, processes like the gear skiving. Yeah? This is just an additional option to give our customers more and more features uh, and to make them flexible. That's the important thing. Yeah? Brilliant. Let's go and talk to Daniel about power skiving and gear hobbing, the technicals, how you run, how you do program that on the Siemens control on this HF 5500. Daniel, could you please tell me we've got a part here? You're doing OD spine cutting. What, what are you doing here? Yes, exactly. This is a show part. We show at the open house to present the procedures we just kind of invented at Heller. We got the gear hobbing, which is used for the outer gearing. And we got the power skiving, which is in this case used for the inner gearing, but can also be used for the outer gearing. Module 3 on the outside, module 2 on the inside. Right, okay, so you need special tools. I guess you need a hobbing tool to do hobbing and a skiving tool to do skiving. What different tools do you need to do different kinds of gears? Yes, exactly. We need a hobbing tool for the outer gearing. In this case, skiving tool for the inner gearing. No, it's okay. How do you program, how do you program these on, on, on the control then? How do you set up a hobbing cycle? We developed for every cycle a graphical support. So you can kind of 
um, type in all parameters which you can find on the drawing of the gear or on the drawing of the tool so you don't have to think much about it we got a graphical support you can see uh, each kind of parameter and yeah you just easily easily type it in the program writes itself and then you're ready to that go that sounds good i like not having to think about things <laughs> and just being able to read numbers it's almost yeah. like cutting gears by numbers you yeah. just read the numbers off put it into the cycle and then you get a yeah. beautiful spline or gear or whatever you need out of it yeah. So let's compare hobbing to skiving. Now, when would you choose hobbing? I guess you can't do internal hobbing. When would you choose hobbing over skiving? Hobbing is a procedure we, which you can use on a standard five-axis machine. You don't need a mill-turn option. So the the workpiece runs quite slow. So you, so um, you can kind of. Uh, no, you can cut it. So that's because it's, it's further out in the diameter. So the cutting speed, you don't need to move so quickly. Yeah, and just uh, like the procedure is, uh, you can realize you can realize it with uh, lower cutting speed. Right. But right. for the power skiving, you need quite high cutting speed. That's where you need the mill turn you, option. You need the mill turn option for that. Yeah. And okay. you can, like I said, use it on the inner and outer gear. Okay. So which is quicker? Usually on a hobbing machine, on a specialized hobbing machine, the hobbing is quicker. But on a five-axis mill turn machine, we, we re recommend the um, power skiving. And in this, in this case, uh, the power skiving is quicker. Is that because it has less force on the spindle as well when you're, when you're skiving? Yes, exactly. It's kind of the, the, the force is more in favor of the, I don't know how to say it, but... It go, yeah, the, the force is more in the Z-axis of yeah, the spindle exactly, rather exactly. than on, yeah, the, on, yeah, the, yeah. on the torque of the spindle. Yeah, exactly. Because with the hobbing, you got your tool like that, and it kind of pushes it away all the time. And so it, that's putting a lot of force on the bearings. Exactly, it's a large exactly. moment on, yes, the, on, the, yes, on the spindle yes, bearings. Exactly. Right, okay, fair enough. Lovely. Well, thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you, too. Give me some, some fantastic information on, on, on gear hopping, skiving, power skiving. I'm sure we could talk about this all day. There's so much to it. Um, but if you need to do some kind of turning, a few turning operations on a billet loaded part, and you've got an extra machine just to do those, then maybe you should check out the mill turn options from Hella. And also, if you need to do gear hopping or skiving, um, on, a, on a mill turn that would take away an extra operation, then check out Hella. Get in touch with John Deneen for in Hella UK and also they're around the world.